Let's talk about everything coming next month for the Halloween update. All of this is confirmed, so I'm super, super excited to share. But before we get into it, let's watch this TikTok I made. Follow me on TikTok at the Megan Plays. So just a yes or no, you still do not have a plan. I have concepts of a plan. I'm not president right now. But if we just had the Roblox Innovation Awards and Dress to Impress totally dominated. They won the categories for best new experience, best creative direction. They also won Builderman's Award of Excellence. And there's like one more, but where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Because I'm pretty sure they won four awards. This year's Builderman Award of Excellence. Creekcraft won Video Star. No surprise there. Best creative direction and best new experience. I feel like they won more. I thought they won more. I heard they won four awards, but three is still like the most. Gigi said, I just woke up. We won three awards. I'm so excited. I'm proud of everything we've accomplished. This is such a huge moment for us. We love you guys so much. Thank you for the love and support. So let's get into the sneak peeks. We know that Dress to Impress is hiring a voice actress. They already found who they wanted. They were needing one female and one male voice actor for sinister roles for the upcoming updates. So I'm really excited that we are gonna be getting voice acting and this tells me that there may or may not be a quest line coming. As we know, we have this scythe and axe coming to the game by Owen. My code isn't out yet. Here's pictures of the two toggles. Now the code is not just going to be given. He said eight pieces of the code will be scattered throughout Dress to Impress and the Fortress, which is the Lana game. Feel free to share the code if you put it all together when the scavenger hunt starts. So it's going to be a scavenger hunt, but with the addition to needing voice actresses and actors for something sinister tells me that they are going to be having a little bit of a quest line, a little bit of a story story to all of this. I don't have anything completely confirmed. I'm just speculating. The Fortress is a pretty creepy, scary game, as we know. That's where all the Lana lore is. So I could totally see them giving some of these monsters, these like one-eyed scary things or the Lana monsters voices. We also have a little speculation here and Dress to Impress reposted this. Yoonjin mentioning Dress to Impress, a collab would be crazy. Dress to Impress collab when? Honestly, it's crazy. I don't know how they, I don't know, I don't know, but it would be, it would be pretty iconic. I know that she's kind of like playing coy here. I do not think that there is a collab coming, but you never know. When stuff like this goes out, I know Dress to Impress might like reach out and be like, hey, we saw you wanting to do something. So we could possibly see something in the future. It's crazy the reach that Dress to Impress has. So them reposting this, I know they've seen this because I've seen them talking about it in the influencer discord. Who knows what's to come? Let's talk about these new boots that are coming to the game. As we can see, these are huge platform boots. They kind of look like some of the boots from Royal High. They're so cute. And right here, new boots coming for Just to Impress Halloween update. They're so magical with a little broomstick emoji. I'm not sure if Royal Dior, oh, I think they're just a content creator. Okay, so they're not on the Just to Impress team. And we get a sneak peek. Like, look at this map. This is so cool. This whole photo is giving Royal High. This, this little, dress in the background it kind of looks like it has the texture of the strawberry dress but it's a high low skirt meaning that it's high in the front and low in the back i'm talking about this dress right here so if we take a little look at it it's got some of these ruffles which I am seeing here. So I'm really excited to see if we're gonna either be getting some new toggles for this dress or if we're getting new dresses overall. Also, we were told we could share this photo, but it was mentioned with a broomstick by the official dev, which makes me feel like might be, you know, a little bit of a Halloween inspiration for a popular Halloween entity. If you know what I mean. The theme is gothic. Um, I would love to participate in this round, but I don't think I have time. Bye. I also wanted to point out that the candlestick in the basement where Lana is being held, it says this candlestick is so pretty, dot, dot, dot. This was posted in the leaks slash sneak peeks section of the influencer stuff. So I'm wondering if this candle will become a prop. Maybe and hold it. It's giving Ebenezer Scrooge walking around with a candle. This vibe. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. We also got a rework of the Lana hair. This is already in the game, which I am so excited about because the old version was looking a little bit crusty. It was from the toolbox and they could get copyrighted. So they switched it out, which I think is so smart. Dress to Impress is such a massive game and they have 
prob I would assume they would have to have a massive budget because it is one of the top earning games on the platform right now. And with that being said, I think that they could afford to pay modelers to reskin every item. If you guys didn't know, Royal High had this issue too. Whenever they kind of blew up and became popular, they needed to rework a lot of items because they weren't like officially their items, which, you know, if you're just like having a ball, making a game, you're not really thinking too deeply of it. I think that, you know, we've seen it before where it's like, oops, we became a lot bigger than we anticipated and now we really have to make sure like that this is all by the books so if you guys remember the old lana here was like pretty crusty but this one it's already in the game it's already all the way down here it looks so good it looks so nice let me see if i can find a photo here you can see it it was it was rather this is the new hair i think maybe it's not the old hair i just didn't like it right here crusty Speaking of reworks, this set over here is going to be getting a rework. I don't know if it's going to be the entire set or just pieces of the set. I know a lot of people don't really like this skirt. I feel like it can look kind of stiff and kind of strange. But if we come over to the Dress to Impress Discord, we could see sneak peeks of upcoming rework. And we can see we have the necklace, we have the bow, and we even have the corset kind of look. And there's even some sleeves there. So I really am excited to see where this goes here's the photo a little bit bigger it's i'm assuming this is the set right like i don't think we have any other sets like this in the game so let's see if we can put them side by side as we can see i think you know with this little bow it looks like they're redoing the jewels there i'm not sure what's going on here or if they're reworking the top of the corset oh and i almost forgot the gloves guys the gloves are still not fixed if we take a look at them these have been broken for quite some time and they give you these crazy salad finger fingers so i know that when they rework this dress they'll definitely have to fix the gloves but honestly this looks really good and really on par with the character but maybe they're reworking it because of copyright infringement or maybe they're worried and they just want to make sure that they're not completely stepping on the toes of any anime ip you know being a official game and all we also have some new poses coming to dress to impress as we can see we have some new poses the finger hearts which were made by zach zach said i'm at rdc supporting dress to impress watcher the awards tonight but finger bones are here now i know that's kind of like a weird thing to say if you guys aren't familiar bones and animation are basically literally as you would think they're joints they're the ability to create different shapes as if the hands before were just hands now they've been separated and made with bones that can be placed meaning we'll be getting more finger poses we also have sneak peeks of the brand new map coming and if we take a look here's the first sneak peek that we have by owen uh we have some pumpkins around that look really cool we have so this has got to be the new lobby i would assume because you can see right here one two three it is so beautiful it reminds me of royal high back in like 2019 Oh my gosh, I love how my video comes up because I just exactly know what I was looking for. Do you guys remember this area? Like, do you guys remember this map? Davinia, Davinia, it's called Davinia. Ha oh, oh, ha, I found it. Oh, it reminds me of this. Oh my gosh, I'm having like a little hint of nostalgia right now. <laughs> oh. Okay, so guys, what do we think? I know the comments are like, you can't just add a pergola and say it's Divinia. Well, guess what? It's where my brain is associating. I kind of feel like I could see dresses in a window right here, but I doubt it. Ooh, but I do see little spider webs and jack-o'-lanterns. Ooh, I love the vibe. We also have more photos here. Um, obviously, we can see a lot of detail here. This DTI News, now I know that this DTI News is not anybody who is a official in the space like they don't know like even the team themselves does not know who runs this new site just fyi as we can see we have more of a sneak peek of this beautiful lobby they have better <laughs> the same sneak peek oh it's so pretty we have this really fun wishing well and look at this face and this feet imagine if these came to dress to impress we also have this sneak peek right here this gets us a little bit closer to the lobby area the um, darling lollipop booga owen i don't know what these are owen is moto princess who modeled the map 
And then we also have this, which I don't know if this is actually posted by the devs. Somebody said, bro, that's Bloxburg. I don't know if this is Bloxburg, but this is all making me think that we could possibly be getting trick-or-treating coming to dress to impress. What do you guys think? They want voice actors and actresses. That possibly this house is a part of the whole thing. I don't even know whose Roblox character this is. Oh, right here. Whip, should I add anything? One of my strongest builds. Not much effort since you only interact with it once, but I still want to detail it a bit. Um, excuse me, you interact with it once, meaning it's not a part of the map, meaning quest? Question mark? Here's the interior list if you have any ideas. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there is a locked attic, kitchen, office, basement, parents' room, dining room, living room, bathroom, laundry room, kids' bedroom. And then there's a few locked. So it's giving, it's giving quests, it's giving scavenger hunt. Why would there be some areas locked if you didn't have to unlock them piggy style? Ooh, I think I'm unlocking something here. Is it like an escape game? Wow, I feel like we're like, uncovering some secrets here. Guys, I see so many Royal High comments on TikTok and it's making me mad. This is really just neoclassical architecture. If anything, it's heavily Minecraft because that's where I got my inspo from. I don't know, it isn't a compliment. Oh, well, okay, um, it's beautiful. Uh, it, uh, we all know that Royal High did not invent this style. Um, but I do think a lot of people will associate it, unfortunately. So I guess keep in mind that the dev does not want it associated. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Moving on. I believe we're gonna be getting a Harley Quinn phase. Mel said, with all these sneak peeks, I might convince Gigi to let me sneak peek a Halloween phase. And then Gigi put in a Harley Quinn winking emoji or GIF, G-I-F, as you will. Um, and I was like, okay, could be a coincidence, could not be. But then the next day, or the day after, Mel said, sorry for the delay, face sneak peek tomorrow with another Harley Quinn emoji. Or God, why do I keep on calling them emojis? A GIF, a GIF. Makes me feel like we could be getting some Harley Quinn hair too, but not completely. But I do know that we are getting some Draculaura hair. Be yourself, be unique, be a monster by the queen himself, Ripper Rio. So many new hairstyles coming with the Halloween update in October. Now we all know Monster High Draculaura. Um, so this is her and she's a vibe and we're getting her exact hair. This hair could also probably double as a base for some Harley Quinn hair if you just make a few changes. We also have a sneak peek by more Ripper Rio hairs. We have some braids, some knots, some curls, and this one is so anime to me. Anything with a really, really long bang feels very anime to me. Which one of these four is your favorite? Which one do you think you'll use the most? So that is all the news I have right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hashtag stay PG, stay kind, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.